So you want to learn how to get S plus in Star Runner, because you want the Star Runner here, but you have no clue where to start. You're a complete beginner, no prior experience, you don't even know how to do wall jumps, or maybe you do, but you're not very consistent at it. No problem. I'm here to show you the simplest and easiest route for S plus as a complete beginner. In this video, I'm going to go through all six stages in Star Runner and show you the best routes to take through every single one of them to ensure that you end up getting your S plus hair. Let's get into it. Okay, so for this run, you could start in any of the starting points. It'll barely change your time, but probably the best one to start in would be the pink one. What you're going to want to do is just run here, take one of these boosts. This one's probably easiest to grab. Come up and grab this one. Take the basic wall jump route here. You don't even need to cut that corner, grab this boost, and climb like normal. And then here's where you're going to learn your first skip. You're going to want to climb up, but you're going to want to go all the way up here, which a lot of people don't actually know about. And you want to grab this boost, and you can jump all the way to that corner and cut a large portion of this map here. So if I grab this, if I, if I, if I land on this wall, right? I'm I'm landing here just as a demonstration. You would you would keep going and you'd probably land on the wall or something. Um you just want to keep going down there and you'll probably land around here. A bit lower, a bit higher, depending on how clean you do it. Yeah, you're just gonna wanna climb over that wall, jump down, and then climb over the normal way. And then there's a second one right here. A lot of people know about it, it's a pretty simple skip. You just cut this corner. And you can do a wall run, and you should be fine. That's the easiest way without any any uh, double jumps or vertical jumps. All right, second run, let's go. This one has a couple of them too, so let's go through the simple, the simple way of doing it. Grab boost like normal, wall run, come down here. This is probably the easiest route to take. And then you're going to want to, with the boost, jump onto that. And if you bounce on both of those platforms with the speed of the boost without landing there, you can make it all the way up here. And then also, if you have the speed of this boost, which will take a couple seconds to wear off, if you jump onto this uh, bounce pad, you can make it all the way down to the other bounce pads below. So if I grab this, I'll stop to show you you have a little bit of time. See, you can skip that entire area over there. For the rest of this, you could probably just do it normally. Um, just climb like like normal. It should be it should be pretty straightforward. You come up here, land here. This, by the way, you can you can jump to this platform no matter how far it is. Like that was as far as it was, and I didn't even climb onto it. And also, going downhill along very long ramps like this, you want to slide. It'll keep your speed, and it'll give you a huge advantage. Okay, for this starting one, you're just going to want to grab boosts like normal, and you're going to want to probably usually go for the right platform. That one's usually the one that's timed correctly, so long as you're in a private instance and no one has any bad loading times. And then here's a part where a lot of people make a mistake. They tend to wall run here. If you curve around here, you can grab this boost, and it'll give you a lot more speed. And then just grab this boost... Take all the boosts. You're going to have a lot of energy drinks from all this. Some people like to climb on this. Waiting for this to go up and down can be a real time waster. All you really want to do is just go around. And it's best to it's best to just jump to whichever one of these is open. And if you need to wait for it to reopen, it's fine. It won't it won't cost that much speed. Uh like loss or any any time loss. It should be fine. For this one, a lot of people aren't very fast at climbing, and it, it's it's pretty it's pretty um it's pretty inconsistent for a lot of people. So the best way to go is probably just down here. Uh, just jump to wherever is open on that. This part, if you're on VR, you don't even need to climb. Uh, I know climbing on screen mode just like automatically grabs on, and then you're like climbing like this. But if you're on VR and you just jump into this corner, you will automatically climb over it. You don't need to climb at all. Grab the boost, and bam, you're done. Alright, course 4. Honestly, my personal favorite course. Pretty annoying at the start, though. These these RNG, like, 
things here. Well, I mean, they're 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 consistent. You can memorize how they go, but they're kind of annoying sometimes. Here's another thing. You want to go around this wall usually. It wouldn't suck to go over it, going through the middle over the wall. It does it doesn't it doesn't hurt too much. Oh jeez. Like it doesn't hurt too much time-wise, but going around will save you a good chunk of time. And people who do go around tend to have a misconception that if you go on the the taller ramp and hit this wall run, it'll be better than if you were to go down here. But that's a that's a that's a common mistake because this one puts you at a better wall running angle, and if you do this one, you're barely going to be able to make it up to that platform. But like this, you can easily make it up here. It's just it's just a breeze uh, if you take the lower ramp. This part as well, some people like to just jump straight to the wall, and I I don't hate if you want to do that, but a little bit of a time save would be wall running here. And then you can instantly climb over this. If you were to take that wall on its own, you'd probably land like around here and you'd have to climb up a little bit. Which is a little bit of a time waste, but it isn't the most important part. Uh, if that's not timed well, then just go around and under. Climb up like this. Best and most consistent way is to do this wall run. You, you won't have to leave it up to skill in RNG. It's just going to be only skill because... It's just a wall run. Take your checkpoint here. I like to cut that corner, but it's because I've had a lot of experience. Uh, everything else is basically the normal way that you would want to do it. Jeez. I am not used to doing this on, uh, uh, what's it, on, on index, I'm gonna be honest. All right, course five. This one has one of the biggest and easiest skips that nobody knows about. When I say nobody, I mean a lot of people know about it, but it's just easier to like it's just it's just more common for people to not know about it than to know about it this is one thing you can just walk on this wall here by the way and you can just go over it so what you should do is just grab this boost and go over the wall come all the way to this pipe and when you land slide immediately and you can slide down the entire thing you don't even need to jump over this because it doesn't even have a hitbox see so if you were to just land here and slide it's technically downhill, so it'll keep your speed of your boost. And then you want to just grab that, come through here, do this all pretty normal. On this one, you're going to want to wall run like right here, jump and then wall run again on that wall with the arrows. So it'll just look like this and then jump and then climb. It just puts you at a little bit of a higher vantage point. Here's the huge skip. It's literally just curving around here with the bounce pads and you can skip that and tire wall which saves a lot of time you just slide down here grab a boost you don't need to grab a boost but you know it's 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 nice too and then bounce here bounce here and then slide on landing and you're done Okay, last course. For for me, I wanted to prove that when I when I did this run originally in a private instance where I wanted to test to make sure this route was good, not only did it still have like 10 seconds where I could have messed up, so it, it's a really good route to learn if you're a beginner, but it also, I didn't move from the starting points and it still had a really good time. So I'm just saying, if you're on VR, you can glitch walk, but it's not really necessary to glitch walk. Anyway, that was a long rant. Here's the first thing on course six. You just want to climb up on top of this. Actually, physically grabbing those is not a great idea. Uh, usually, you want to go for the right the right one, though. You can't really clamber over uh, that one. For this one, just bounce, move forward, and you can land all the way over here and be fine. Here's one that people people always ask me, is it better to go up this way? Is it better to go up that way? In reality, it's not a huge deal. How I would suggest is to go up to the third boost here and then climb up this wall and then go up this ramp onto here. And then you you you, you took a pretty a, a pretty good route. Here, if you're on screen mode, it's a good uh, thing to wall run and then wall jump off of this. And you'll be a little bit higher on the climb because I know climbing is really slow on screen mode. And then just do this normally, you come up here, bounce here and turn around immediately and you can skip that entire section and just slide as soon as you land. 
I messed that up, but honestly, if I was doing that in a run, I I wouldn't have lost much time from that. And bam, that's the entire route. So originally I did this run and I messed up a couple times even. Even with messing up about three times, I ended up getting um a time of about 435, which is 10 seconds below S+. You have plenty of room for error. As long as you don't die too many times in the run, you should get it. It'll take a little bit of time to memorize the route, but you should be you should be pretty uh pretty consistent after a little while. So that's the best route for S+ plus if you're a complete beginner in Star Runner. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please press the like button. It really helps out with the algorithm and boosting this video. If you find someone who's looking to get into Star Runner and you want to show them how to get S+, plus, share this video with them. Why not? Subscribe for more. I know a lot of you subscribed in the past few months and I didn't post a single video. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I've been um We'll just say I've been sick. Yeah, well, five months. I was sick for about five months. We'll, we'll, we'll call it that. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. See ya.